What's up guys, JDog back here again from Seacoast and today we're going to be checking out a plugin to add locking doors and chests and with this simple and easy plugin you're going to be able to lock either your doors or unlock them and the same will work with your chests meaning that you can leave them open for people to use or close them and people can't use them. Now with the front door if I now keep it closed by right clicking the other player cannot now open the door no matter how much they try. Along with that, they're also not going to be able to break the block underneath it. The same goes with the chest, and you can of course unlock it for them to use again. There you go. Now this plugin is extremely easy to install and use, so let's get down to it and find out how to add it onto your servers. So we can upload this one of two ways. First of all, we're just going to make sure that we actually stop our server first. And the first way to upload it is to come over to your plugin section if you're using Multicraft and of course Seekerhost servers. If you don't use us already, come over to seekerhost.co and you're going to be able to find yourself a server to use this on. Next up, you can search for locks. And that's going to be by selecting Spigot, because this one's a Spigot plugin. This will work for Spigot and paper servers. Next up, to install it, you can click on Lock, and then simply go to Install. Another way to install it is by coming over to the website, and then downloading it from here. I'll leave the link in the description. Simply click on the button, and it will then download to your PC. From here, you can go to your Files, and then your FTP File Access. From here, find your Plugins folder, and select it. As you can see, I've already uploaded it, and all you now need to do is go ahead to Upload, choose File, and then select the file that you just downloaded. Once selected, simply submit, and then that will upload to your server. Once that's all done, just start your server back up again, and we can log in game and see how it works. And once you are in game, if you do want to check it, just simply type in plugins, press enter just to make sure that it is enabled on your server. Once it's enabled, go over to your house, and you can simply place down the door or use an already existing door. For this, you're going to need a trip hook wire, and you're simply going to need to crouch down and right click to enable it on this door. You've successfully connected the door to the key. Now you can just right hand click it and you can choose whether you have it locked or unlocked. Yeah, it's as easy as that. One thing that I would however suggest is using your anvil to put your key. You can see that the key has the connections by hovering over it and it's a door key, but you might want to remember what door key it is. So I'm simply going to write front door just to remind me what key this is. And now I can use this to lock or unlock the door as much as I need. The same way it's going to work with chests. So if I put a chest down, I can simply crouch down, right click it with my tripwire hook and we've now connected the storage key to the chest. If I hover over it, you can see that it's now called key. Much like the door, you can now right hand click on the chest and it will allow you to either unlock it or lock it for when you leave your house. And again, I do highly recommend naming your keys so you remember what one's what. These keys are then locked so you can give these to other players to use to go into your house or chest areas. So your friends can now also use this to lock or unlock doors. For more information about this plugin, make sure to hit the link below. Go and check it out, it's called Simple Locks. It's a Spigot plugin and a very good one at that. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch you next time. Bye bye!